Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to this new video on Cisco Meraki. This time I want to show you how to configure Facebook authentication to connect to a wireless network. So uh, the configuration is simple. Uh, let me minimize this and let's go over to uh, wireless SSIDs. Once you get to the um, SSIDs, you select the SSID that you want to work with. You have to do the uh, configuration on that specific SSID. The first thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this to, uh, I'm going to rename it, right? I'm going to rename it to Coffee Shop Guest or whatever you want to name it. So let me save the changes. Then you're going to go right into the uh, configuration by clicking on edit settings. Once you come here, uh, you want to leave the security section as open because you're going to be using Facebook authentication for this. Remember, this is something that you're doing for your guest. You want to make it simple and easy for them to use. So uh, you leave it as open, then you scroll down to the splash page section. And this is where you're going to select sign on with. And then you scroll down to Facebook login. Come here, save the changes. Once you have this enabled, you still have to connect Cisco Meraki to your business Facebook page. And that is the next step that you need to do. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go back to this section. As you can see here, it says that require users to check in in your Facebook page before getting access to your network. So that's exactly what you want to do. And then you have a section that says configure Facebook settings here. Just go ahead and click on this. But just a quick note, sometimes the Meraki cloud does not refresh automatically and you have to refresh the page. If you don't see this setting after selecting Facebook login, just refresh the page and that's going to come up uh, for you to continue the configuration. So click here. And um, in my case, I am already, I'm already logged in to Facebook. So it didn't prompt me for the username and password. But if you are not logged in to Facebook, that's going to prompt you for the username and password to authenticate to Facebook and get access to your Facebook page. So as you can see here, uh, you can change the page if you have more than one. Uh, and you have uh, other different options as of, you know, the session length. You can do whatever you want. Now, notice that it says like your change has been saved. For whatever reason, uh, and it seems to me that it has something to do with the new firmware of Meraki. This page does not refresh automatically, meaning that I don't have the option of clicking next or continue. Right, but as you could see, the uh, changes were saved. So let me go back to uh, to my uh, Meraki configuration page. So I'm back on my Meraki configuration page. So you, as you could see, this this is just hanging in here. Just probably they're gonna fix this, you know, on a new firmware or something. But uh, go back to open a new tab. Go back to the configuration page. Uh, and you would go back to wireless, um, SSIDs, right, let's go to uh, settings, and um, your, co your configuration is done. You know, as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, it must be something related to Meraki, but the uh, the page doesn't refresh and it doesn't show me that I'm connected to my uh, business Facebook page. Um, it'll show here, maybe it's gonna show up later. 
uh, how do I know that it was configured? Because it said so right here, right? When I made some changes, it said that the uh, the changes were saved. If I change this to this, it says, you know, your changes have been saved. But we'll, we'll test it in a second. <clears throat> so let me come back here because there's like two more things that I would uh, advise you or suggest you to do. Like if you do this, like you're done pretty much. Like users are going to be able to... Uh, to click on your network and and authenticate to Facebook. As a matter of fact, let's just give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video for one second and I'm gonna bring up uh, a remote desktop session that I have to one of my laptops. So we'll test that from there. Hold on one second. So as you can see here, this is a. Um, This is a uh, connection that I have to uh, a laptop connected on the Ethernet network, and I'm gonna connect on the Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna look for my SSID coffee shop guest. As you could see here, connect. And uh, you say it says it's insecure because it's not password protected. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna click on ignore. And as you could see here, this is redirecting me to to Facebook, right? So let me just bring this back. And it is showing me that I am connected to my business Facebook page. So I just have to click on continue and connect. But Something that I want to show you, and this is a best practice, and I would advise you to do this and configure this before doing this type of deployment. So scroll down here, and uh, you have to select uh, the type of uh, netting or, or network that you want this SSID to be on, right? So if you do uh, Meraki AP assign NAT mode, what's going to happen is that your SSID is going to use the Meraki built-in NAT network, in a private network of 10.10.0.0.0.8 to connect your clients. And, and that is a, a good thing, right? Like I, I would never suggest that you would create a guest SSID and have it in your internal network in bridge mode because that is crazy you don't want to do that so but what about if you want to apply other settings to it what about if you want to limit the bandwidth and you want to select or you want to apply layer sevens or layer three um, firewall rules in that case you would need group policies so I always ad advise uh, customers whenever they want to do this to think as of the settings that they would like to implement on this network and those settings are security settings, right? So if you want to apply um, policies, right? You, you would have the option of doing this. Assign group policies per device and you click enabled and then you would come here and you select the type of devices that you would like to apply the policies to and then the group policies, you'll have them right here. You could apply whatever you wanna apply. But when you do this, applying group policies per devices, uh, th this is not something that is guaranteed to work all the time. Right, because this is something on best effort is whatever the client identifies itself as that the policy is going to apply. For instance, if the client, for whatever reason, this uh, client device, a um, let's say an iPhone, and you are applying this policy of VoIP policy or whatever policy you want to apply to it, it may be that the client is misidentified at the Meraki MX and the policy is not gonna be applied. So you don't, you don't wanna do this. So let me just uh, delete this. If you wanna apply the policy, you have to apply the policy at the, um, at the VLAN level. So there's a couple of things you need to change here. So I'm gonna disable this Meraki 
not mode and I'm gonna disable assign group policy by device because that's not what I want and what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna assign the policy to uh, let me change this you know what something I don't like about Meraki is when they when they change their their um, firmware that they move things around so let me go back to the old version of the configuration page right so as you can see here you see that now it says splash page Facebook login and you see my uh, Facebook page uh, so it just takes time to refresh so um, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have this in bridge mode but again I am not gonna have this in bridge mode on my network I am going to assign this traffic to a separate VLAN uh, that you have to create prior to this of course so I'm gonna come here use VLAN and uh, what VLAN I'm gonna use whatever you whatever you have right? I'm gonna assign it to VLAN 70 and then I click Save now you want to apply the group policy to VLAN 70 so where do you do that so uh, first you need to have the group policy configures right so I'm gonna come here I already have that configure I'm just gonna go through the settings you would go to network wide group policies and I have a group policy called Wi-Fi guest users and right here you can set the different uh, configuration settings for this if you want to uh, limit the bandwidth utilization uh, host visibility if you want to create layer 3 and layer 7 firewall rules you can do that all here if you have an umbrella subscription so on and so forth so you have all these settings that you can create but now you need to apply them so now that I have this created I need to go to security and SD1 addressing and VLAN and remember that on this uh, network I assigned it to VLAN 70 so once you come over to the VLAN section you find your VLAN this is any name you know I just named this before but it could be anything and you have an option right here to apply the group policy so uh, this is where you will select the group policy that is going to be applied to the VLAN so you would do a uh, click here and then you scroll down to guest Wi-Fi users next if you want to use IPv6 and update and uh, once you do that the all the settings that are applied to that group policy are going to be applied to the VLAN which in turn are going to be applied to the SSID so um, that is how you configure an SSID using Facebook authentication and you add extra security uh, options and settings to it by applying group policies this is very popular so again in restaurants gyms uh, coffee shops and hotels mm -hmm. and is uh, it's a great thing to do I hope this video was useful to you if it was please just click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos have a great day